At a high level, we are building the technology behind travel that services customers across the travel value chain, whether it's airlines, uh, hotels, car rental companies, cruise lines. We're using um, you know, cool tablet technology, cool mobile uh, kind of interfaces where you can be on the road, uh, be in a train station or on an, in an airport and still have access to all the tools and real-time information you need as a traveler. It's basically the future of the travel industry. So today we speak about kiosk check-in, web check-in, online travel portals. Another five years later, we may be speaking about checking in with a Bluetooth. This type of business that we're working in has really high demands on the performance and stability of our products. We operate 7x24, um, 365 days a year. We never take our systems down. It's now running 60,000 transactions per second. We run a billion API calls a day. We have to do it right, and, and that means we have to have the best, and we have to build the best. We have a responsibility to our consumers to get them the content that they're looking for, and we have a responsibility to our suppliers to get them the consumers that will buy their content. The goal is not that a given system can do something, but that it does it the way that a customer needs them to do it in the most efficient way. Having that presentation be intelligent, be dynamic, and be useful and meaningful to them is something that's very, very key and important to them. We do try to always um, take the perspective of as the customer would see it. It is very, very important to listen to the customers and to try ideas out with the customers, but we also have to be fairly inventive ourselves. We hire the best people and then we try to provide an atmosphere that helps them be um, as productive and creative and innovative as is possible. Once you've experienced and had the opportunity to work on systems that are of that size and scale and complexity, um, you know, other things tend to pale in comparison. If everything in Sabre is collaborative, it has to be because there's so many specialties that you have to bring to the table. We are one team, so whatever it takes for us to work together, that's what we do. Everybody is part of the innovative culture that we have at Sabre. How do you evolve to the next technology while you keep the existing technology running? You can name the technology and probably we have it. And we're always looking for avenues to allow our intelligent and interested people within Sabre to get their ideas forward to us so that we can take them forward. What attracts us, the best people to Sabre is the fact that we've got really difficult problems for them to solve and, and these really smart people want to solve the most difficult challenges. We do things at Sabre fairly frequently that some people might only get an opportunity to do once or twice in a career. When you bring all of those people together that are experts in their field and bring them together in an environment where they can share their thoughts and ideas, then it creates business that has the best of the best and, and brings it all together to really provide the best possible solutions and support to our customers.